Hello, welcome back to the Lubula Blah. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff in here. First, we got a map. We can take a let's look at it later. Right, next we got a card. Two cards, actually. Ambidex room. We can use these to open the AV rooms. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? We can go back the way we came, but that door is locked. Read this note. There are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I cannot keep you from going in and out. Any color of bracelet can go through them and as many people as you like. But, uh, you have to escape. Once you activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you back. Radical six again. Just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, yes. there's a box here. It looks. Oh, sorry, kid. 
And just like the other doors, no good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. <laughs> oh yeah, the time left. It's like two hours. Six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Well, it looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Sigma, where's that note you found? Bro? Huh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the crew quarters. Yeah, we got one of those. Found it in the safe in the lounge. Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door or something, all right? <sighs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. <clears throat> well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. Just coincidence. Yeah, there's even a zero. Whatever it is that's going on, we need to get in touch with headquarters and fast. Yeah, I agree. They probably figured out we're gone by now. Yeah. Do you think they'll find us? Let's hope so. into what 
that room. Now that's, that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Meaning both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. yeah. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. Well, yes, I guess you could look that way. And what's the notary game? Oh, Sorry, Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. <laughs> An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. This is new. Ooh, I don't like this. What? Who is that? <laughs> Who is this? Fuck if I know. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter who she is, just get everybody over here. Yeah, right. Hey guys, get over here. We found someone. There's a lady over there. She's unconscious. And look the response, just turn around and fall by into the room. You know, going next to the woman turned over and definitely speak of man. All that greeted us was dead. Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen to her mouth. Nothing, no breath. The shaking hands I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement, just cold skin. are you yelling? What's going on here? Is she? Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then she's... The heck is murdered? No idea. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old. But she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. We're gonna do an autopsy on her? Who knows how to do an autopsy on her? No. No, she's not a... She's a nurse. She doesn't do autopsies. D-O-K and I... Lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he didn't. He just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was just something else, but 
Whatever the reason, Ken Miyuji only stared. His whole body was rigid like a rope pole. Does oh, he know? Oh man, I wonder if that's <laughs> like his wife or something. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us. A smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his ears. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tim Yuji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and laboring and his movements slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Wow, I didn't expect this. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> This is definitely different. Body is surprisingly light. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she's gonna wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um, I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Oh, that's something. Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Estimate time death 65. 75 deceased cause of death exsanguination I don't know what that is I have no clue what Never that is estimate time of death 3 to 4 hours damage weapon entered oh. through means uh, she died of blood loss ah uh, W wound angle one sharp one blunt wound cavity 150 mm 30 length 30 mm wound width 3 mm conclusion based on the characteristics described on above the 95 percent of the wound was caused by a sharp single blade instrument like a skeleton Oh, yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? What was she stabbed with? A clear or something? It oh means my god. A tool of some sort. She's supposed to be in college. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Oh, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the A-B rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Only Clover. one of you was conscious. Fine, please, stop joking around. I assure you. There was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. I don't believe it either. Kay's like a gentle giant. So far, I know. Like so far, I know. Fucking bastard! <laughs> Why'd you kill her, Kay? Why'd you kill her, Chris? I knew it. 
You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. No, I don't think he's Zero. I'm honest with you. I don't think so either. Could you please? You're close to the garbage. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. I didn't really expect this. You aren't making sense. <clears throat> Let's suppose I am zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I'm in a master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero... Then what? Why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. But now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered. Justice planned. Death is only another part of the game. Well, there's no way to know for sure. But I would... Ten minutes remain until at all players, please enter your room. If no... What was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. You're good. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the AB rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we got in. Ghosts. I feel bad that she died, of course, but 
There's not really anything I can do about that, is there? I prefer bold, but whatever. Just don't let emotions get in the way. Anyway, let's go. Looks like the others have already gone in. There's something there. Get betray out of the way. I don't care. Whatever you choose. 
We're gonna do them all anyway. Round one of the Amadex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for Amadex game. Chose betray, betray, huh? That's, That's messed, messed up. up. Hey, I didn't say that. I just asked you a question. What, what would happen to our BP if 10 <laughs> Was I? Everyone betrayed. Yeah, a lot of people betrayed. Mm. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. But I feel like you should have chosen an ally you would have chosen betrayed. Well, you know what? I don't know. He might have chosen an ally too. I, I got, got betrayed? betrayed? <laughs> Sorry. I told him you might choose betray. No, I can't believe you. I'd I never choose betray. I trusted you two, and this is what I got. Oh, I apologize. Oh, yeah, I guess you've got a point. It's Sigma's fault. You want to blame someone, blame him. <laughs> ah. What, you're gonna fight each other now? I don't care which one of you pushed the button. I'm never trusting either of you again. This isn't over. Just to wait. Tried to think of something to say before I could come up with the right words. He was gone. He was gone too. Second round. Oh, yeah, I guess you got a point. 
You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't. Why not? The voting happens when an angry gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you also. Let me just glow. The Abigail's gates have closed. Round two of the Amadex game will be the Moon Round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. <laughs> moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these cards? Yes, indeed. Now, you'll have to look cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? So it's over when someone gets nine EP. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course. You could also get stuck just below nine EP, where every bunny just keeps going back and forth. After all, if there's no money with 9 BP, that happens. You'll just have to continue on to round 3, and round 4, and round 5, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up a low. I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. I don't know. Can I There's rolls about how to read it. Talking. Rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like you have to have three people yeah, exactly. So. Well, what about the number nine thing? Are the rules the nope. same? There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors. Maybe it's not. What? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you... That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it. Just use the bracelets. What? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning. So, it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding, ding, ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets... It doesn't matter how many people there are! By the way, hold on a minute. Do these things even come off? No! Yes! They do indeed. Yeah. Then, then I... how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door to escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks... What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up! What's the second way? Oh, B, I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! No, oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. Electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that grasps. Anyway, you can't see the so. A lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there are your heart stop. <sighs> if you try, I don't think. <laughs> it Oops. I guess it's not going to be. Uh -uh. <laughs> Next round. Uh, what do you mean? Well, do I have to explain it if somebody might die during the next round of the air? That's pretty fair. Or maybe... What? what? Yeah, why am I... Mm. I guess I can anyone. I'm pretty... <laughs> Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Alice, Luna, that means we'd have less than zero. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this early? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well, is there anything else you can be? It's not fair to make people play. I think it's fair, after all. 
We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? Never or not. Seriously, we have to go through this. Uh. 